all right what is going on welcome to the channel all right special video for you all here today in this video we're gonna discuss the wheel nag so upcoming update 12.4 they're getting rid of the nag so in this video we want to see how many times does the nag come up in my three mile drive all right so starting of course at the beginning of the video we're gonna see how many times the nag comes up but at the same time we're gonna talk about the removal of the nag so FSD has gotten really good look at that lucid with a Tesla right behind it so FSD has gotten really good to a point where Tesla feels like they can get rid of the steering wheel nag what that means is it's it's asking you and here we go here's our first nag right there so it asks you for a little bit of force on the steering wheel and uh, that comes based on telemetric so what your hands and your eyes are doing um, so with the removal of that it brings up a lot of questions you know first thing is I, I almost wonder well let's keep in mind there, there's a cabin camera okay they're not getting rid of the cabin camera so what does that mean so i'm pretty sure that means that it could still beep at you i'm pretty sure it's gonna have some kind of telemetry that knows if you're not fully paying attention it could still like pull over you know i'm pretty sure if you're fall asleep it can wake up following asleep drivers because right now fsd already recognizes if your eyes are getting droopy if you're yawning and here's our nag number two so we got our second nag and it hasn't even been one mile yet so this is giving you real life statistics here I'm not trying to uh, pretend and show you you know FSD works a certain way and then don't show you talk about the nags so here I'm trying to show you in this video what to expect so yeah um, you also need to know what it's what it's asking for it's asking for a three pound force on the steering wheel not four pounds or not two pounds it's asking for three pound force which means you have to give it a force of three pounds just a little nag tug like that and then it recognizes that you are sitting there and you're you know you're paying attention so with the removal of that, does that mean you don't have to sit there and don't have to pay attention? Who knows? Like, you know, I, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I will definitely be testing this out. Um, you know, so far we've had two nags in um, one mile. So just to kind of give you a comparison of where we're at. And if I lose track of the count for any reason, I'm sorry. I'm trying to pay attention to the road too, but... I think we've only had two so far so um yeah if we can stay under 10 nags in three miles i think that's pretty cool but still you know does this mean people can get in the back seat does this mean that you know people can not pay attention i don't think so because first of all rule number one with autopilot and fsd is your seatbelt's got to be on so they also have a pressure sensitive seat so they know if someone is sitting in the seat or not and um of course these two things can be fooled by people you could put your mannequins and put the seat belt on them but would you really want to do that i think that's really dumb and if tesla finds out that people are doing that i'm pretty sure they're going to hit your car with an fsd ban so i highly would not recommend that and yeah um here we go so we've got officially nag number three so i noticed there was a little bug crawling in my car so maybe that's why i like looked away yeah i just got him out and uh, maybe that's why i got the nag but i don't know so so far we've gotten three nags on this drive and um yeah that's not terrible granted it's made a couple maneuvers for me so far some lane switches right turn some traffic lights um before when i first got into beta it would ask for a nag after every move like anything traffic light comes up nag traffic light turns green nag right turn nag left turn nag notice there has been a definite reduction of the number of nags but it's not fully gone away yet 
course they're saying it's going to, what that really means, how the drive is going to look like moving forward, who knows. But make sure you subscribe to this channel because they're talking about in the next week or two we're going to get this update 12.4 which is going to officially get rid of the nag. There's been speculation that they'll include a smart summon, actually smart summon with this update so who knows if that's the case if that is the case they'll be disabling you know sensors and then pretty much officially using tesla vision when it comes to um summon they'll be using fsd's code you'll be able to see the lines on the ground maybe be able to park for you do a little bit more than just having the sensors kind of detect the bluetooth or however it works now but yeah, so, so far we're at three nags. Um, again, if I got this count wrong, definitely drop a comment below. And just as soon as I said something, here is nag number four. All right, so, so far four nags and we're about 2.2 miles into the drive. So we, we gotta make a left now coming up and let's see when, how many more nags it asks me. And I remember I said 10, I said 10, for a three mile drive which is roughly three per mile so let's go with like nine um but if we're you know we're only at three so far and that that's pretty amazing so here we go we're, we're looking to make a left and then following that we got a right turn so let's see if it asks for a nag with every maneuver or we're about to find out but three nags is not that bad that's really not that bad um, so far, so trying to keep my eyes peeled, paying attention as much as possible so it doesn't hit me with an unnecessary nag. Um, but yeah, look, it hit the left so far, nothing. Let's see if it can even complete this following maneuver. I'd be really impressed. Three nags so far, we've gone two and a half miles, and uh, that's awesome. That's not bad actually. So, for people that complain about the, the nag, what are you really complaining about? It's, it's it's not that serious. I mean, it's actually a pretty decent safety thing. It just kind of shows. I mean, I'm pretty used to it, but for someone new hopping into it, I think it's important for them to recognize what it does and why it's there. Plus, I can see the potential of people abusing this. And here we go with nag number four. So it waited for me to uh, make that right. And then, yeah. So we got four nags in this in this video, which is not bad at all. And um, yeah, actually that's really not that bad. Again, going back to where I was saying probably like nine, you know, it, it's pretty, it's, you know. I'm really interested to see what it's gonna be like with the removal of the nag, because ever since I had the car, it's had it. So I just don't believe that until I see it. And uh, let's see if we can end this video on a quick auto park here. So we're looking to uh, pick our spot. And let's see if FSD can figure out the rest here. I like how it draws the trajectory. And then it clears it as the car finishes that, like that movement, see? And now as it reverses, of course, it brings the camera up. So these are some really um bad drawn lines but i love how fsd figures out still with these uh improperly drawn lines it still knows where to park which is awesome and uh yeah this was a fully autonomous drive uh since the beginning of this video zero takeovers which is awesome hit that like button if you enjoyed this video for nags which is not bad Make sure you subscribe, 12.4 coming up. So I'll be pretty much updating this video once I get that. And um, yeah, thanks again for watching and hope you have a great rest of your day.